Hi, I'm Mark from Vera Control. In this edition of Tips and Tricks, I want to talk about firmware upgrades and the steps that you should take to ensure that you have the smoothest firmware update possible. Why do we do firmware updates? Well, to improve the platform, to bring new features and functionality to your Vera Connected smart home. So the first thing that you want to do is log into your controller. So go to home.getvera.com to log into your controller. You'll notice the orange triangle next to the advance button indicating that there is something that requires your attention with your controller. Click on advanced. You'll see that it indicates that there is a software update for your controller. Just click on upgrade and everything will be taken care of from here, including making a backup of your configuration file and uploading that to the cloud. You can keep track of what's going on by just watching the information bar at the top of the screen. It will tell you when the firmware update is completed and when you can log into your controller. Once the upgrade process has begun, do not unplug your controller. Your controller will go offline while going through the updating process. Once the process is complete, it will reappear in the portal. Note that this sequence has been edited for time. This process normally takes between 5 and 10 minutes. There are still some reasons that you might want to do the firmware update the old-fashioned manual way. To do that, you're going to go to Settings, Firmware. It will automatically check to see if there is a new version for you, and if there is, you can just click on Upgrade to whatever the current version is. There's also an Advanced section where it says URL for Custom Vera firmware. You would use this if you participating in a beta test of a new build, if you were going to downgrade to an older version, or if you were instructed to do so by the customer care team. And you would put the URL into that box and click on download. The next step is to manually save a backup. So click on save backup and then select where you want the file to be saved on your computer. Once you've done that, you can click on start upgrade. When the firmware update is complete, a pop-up box will appear on your screen indicating that the update is complete. The most important thing not to do during a firmware update is unplug your controller. That honestly can turn it into a doorstop. You want to make sure that the update has fully installed and that your Vera controller has rebooted itself before ever unplugging or disconnecting your Vera controller. The way that you can tell that it's done is by clicking the refresh button in your browser and if it refreshes with a clean Vera page, you're good to go. Now if you want to see more of these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to keep up with the latest news from Vera, like us on Facebook. And if there's something you'd like to see me talk about in these videos, email me training at getvira.com. And remember at Vera, it's not about us, it's not about what we can do, it's about what you, our user, no longer has to do.